Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to call this hearing to order. Um, good afternoon. My name is Diana Ayala, and I am the chair of the Committee on Mental Health, Disabilities, and Addiction. Today, we are holding a vote on a bill that is essential is an essential piece of the puzzle in getting people who don't need to be locked up out of Rikers Island. Proposed introduction 1590A, a local law in relation to requiring correctional health services to report information to the attorney of record for individuals in the custody of the Department of Corrections who are diagnosed with a serious mental illness. Unfortunately, as even as the city's jail population continues to decrease, the percentage of individuals who are on Rikers and are diagnosed with serious mental illness is going up. Locking up people who are sick is wrong, and it doesn't dissolve anything. Despite the excellent work of the medical staff at Correctional Health Services, it's hard to imagine a worse place to maintain stability and mental wellness than Rikers Island. While it is true that a lot of people come in into jail because they lack access to medication, housing, and social support necessary to cope with serious mental illness, it is absolutely unnecessary to keep them there for as long as we do. People with SMI, on average, stay in jail for much longer than everyone else. We need to find a better solution. We need to find a way to connect people to community supports rather than keeping them behind bars. But that can't happen without the cooperation of the courts that put people in Rikers in the first place and have the power to get them help in settings where they can learn to f and function on their own in society and get the community supports that will keep them healthy. This legislation is simple. It requires correctional health services to tell defense lawyers about their clients' medical needs, their symptoms, and their progress. That way, when people get better and are able to manage their daily routines without being detained, their attorneys can find treatment and housing alternatives and advocate to the judges and the DAs for their clients' release. The truth is that we also need major reinvestments in our health care system going forward, but this bill is a crucial step in getting people who shouldn't be in jail into the community-based treatment. And now we will do roll call. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on mental health, disabilities, and addiction. Introduction 1590A, Chair Ayala. Yes. Cabrera. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Ampri Samuel. Aye. We have a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. This meeting has been adjourned. Oh, are we going to hold it? Oh, we're going to hold it open. Okay, no, Sorry. it's all right. Thank you. How, when is he going to I chase this guy, he goes all the way in the other. I guess he's getting his walkers. He's getting in the elevator. Continuation roll call, Committee on Mental Health, introduction 1590A, Councilmember Holden. Aye. Final vote is five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. And this hearing is now adjourned. Thank you.